<clears throat> All right, let's see if we can pick this silly thing. <coughs> this thing is giving me more trouble than it's worth. I'm gonna, instead of doing heavy tension like I have been doing, I'm gonna try relatively light tension. And take my time. Let's see if I got a baby dimple pick here. Let's try that tiny guy. Maybe I'm missing some feedback with my heavy tension tendencies. Pin one is binding, pin five is binding. Okay, pin five was deep. One feels set. Two isn't binding. Three isn't binding. Four is binding. A little click out of four. One is set. Two fills set. Three fills set. Four fills set. Let's go check five. Five fill set, there we go. Jiggling four around a little bit. Drop me into a false set. Let's go check the left side. Back off tension a tad. One is binding on the left side. Come on. One stopped binding, but it didn't feel like a nice healthy click like I'm used to. But it feels set. We'll leave it alone. Two isn't binding. Three is binding. A little click out of three. Four is binding, and I can't quite get four all the way with this short little pick. Let's see. I'm kind of staring down the keyway while I do this, which probably isn't the best course of action for my eyes. Two feels stiff, like it's not giving me the spring that I would expect from a set pin. Let's see. Okay, let's check the interactive, if I can find it. Okay, interactive is not binding. Hmm, what am I missing? I'm gonna pulse tension a little bit here, see if I can recover from anything I overset. Let's go check the right side again. Now, two on the right side gives me that stiff feeling.
see if I can get any counter rotation. No counter rotation. Still on a false set. I feel like I should be working on the left side. Let's go check it again. I'm just going to start randomly poking at pins with a longer dimple pick. See if I can bounce something. Nope, that didn't do anything. Hmm. Hmm. What is holding me up here? Okay. Did a little jiggling. I think I'm still in the false set. I know that the advice I usually give on dumb is to lift higher, but I feel like I'm oversetting something this lot. What's that guy? Okay, everything feels set. Check that interactive pin again. It's not the interactive. tension and try to recover from any oversets again. Everything feels set. What is going on here? hook and start bouncing pins. Oh, hang on. 
I got tagged over here. Try to back off just enough tension to release that left side. Kind of using my pick to rotate the core. I'm still in a false set. Do it a little more. Heard something fall. What is going on here? Rotation. Counter rotation. All right. Let's let's think through this for a second. What could be holding me up? A spooled driver. I overset into a key pin torpedo or a key pin spool. Um. Or a lip on a driver. Oh, much deeper false set. I jiggled pin five on the right side. I think we're on the interactive element now. Let's see. Let's see if I can get to that interactive with a hook. That was it. I think pin five on the right side is a uh, one of those drivers with a little lip on it. I had to bounce it really good to get it to drop into a deeper false set. And then the last part of the false set was the interactive element. And my dog is barking. Alright, let's see if we can get this guy gutted. I'm going to use one of my fancy pinning trays to hold everything because there's a lot of little parts in this lock. So I'm going to have 10 drivers and key pins. Let's see. I'm 
looking for the appropriate tree. That's the one I want. This one has 10 slots. Oh, Sir Clips. How I hate you. Let's see if I can get this guy off without murdering it. the keys. Drivers that way. Oops, sorry, sorry, sorry. We need a follower. Um, we're gonna have to shim this guy. My follower doesn't quite work. Okay, we got a shim. The tailpiece on this is going to get in the way if I uh, try to do this without a shim. Okay, I think that'll work. Let's see if we can get this guy out without causing a brick today. I just dropped a ball bearing. And another little ball bearing. And another little ball bearing. And a sidebar cover. That needs to go in there. Okay. I think all the little ball bearings have fallen out. Now we're left with a little nub on the first key pin over here on the left side. That's from construction keying. This key won't work without it, so it was the key before construction keying. Get out of there. Okay. Let's drop. How do I want to do this? Let's go left side, front to back. Another little anti-drill pin driver. Get out of there. There's the left one. Left two. Man, these things are sticky. I haven't got it a lock in a while, so I'm trying to take my time. Okay, left three. Left four. Left five. Right side. Man, I'm really jittery from coffee. This is a struggle. Come on. Three. Four. 
And then the interactive element. Let's see if I can get him out of here without too much trouble. Oh, that's the last one. Okay. Interactive element. I don't see any kind of milling or anything special in the core. Set that guy to the side and pull some drivers. So, looking from the top, first pin should be left. Should just have to go in order. Standard driver pin. Standard driver pin. Standard driver pin. Standard driver pin. I'm going to be really disappointed if all of these are standard drivers and it hurt me that much. Standard driver pin. Yet another standard driver pin. And another standard. And another standard. This one's got a little bit of a lip cut on it. Yep, and that was the back right side. And this one should be the interactive. And it is. Yeah, it seems like all of these have a very, very minor lip right on the edge of the key pin. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see this. My camera I'm using right now is pretty poo. And it doesn't have autofocus, so if I bring you closer to the camera, it doesn't work. Let's see if I can find a focus spot. Uh, yeah, it's not going to work. <laughs> but there's a tiny little lip on the edge of most of these key pins or these driver pins it seems like to get past it you've got to go bounce each driver pin for anyone picking this lock it's all standards with tiny little lips on the drivers so if you get to a point where you don't feel any feedback go bounce every key pin against the driver if you don't feel a little bit of spring you need to back off tension just a tad and keep bouncing that one. Thanks for watching.